Welcome back traders. In this video, we're going to be going through MetaTrader 4. Now, MetaTrader 5 has been out for some time. A lot of brokers haven't moved across to it yet. Um, and in all honesty, there's no real reason why you would have to move to MetaTrader 5 yet, because everything we need is still here in MetaTrader 4. But just in the interest of making sure you know everything, just in case your broker is going to be using MetaTrader 4 or 5, I'm going to include some notes on how to use MetaTrader 4. In essence, MetaTrader 4 and 5 are very, very similar. You'll see that a few of the buttons will be in slightly different places, and they also look slightly different, but the actual operation of MetaTrader 4 is pretty much the same. One thing that MetaTrader 4 has, which I use a lot, is this indicators list button over here. This is the easiest way to add an indicator and it's all listed down. On MetaTrader 5, it is up here. We have to go to insert then indicators. Another key difference is that the terminal at the bottom here, which is this entire section at the bottom, is listed as something different on MetaTrader 5, but it is in essence the same thing. You'll see when we select trade, we can see what active trades we have. We still have exposure and account history. And those are the three most important things that we need to keep in mind. One thing MetaTrader 4 does not have that is very nice in MetaTrader 5 are more options for different time periods to be trading in. You'll see here that it jumps from one hour to four hours and then daily, whereas MetaTrader 5 has some more options inside there of how to switch it around. This is a list of all the ones that we're restricted to using. 90% um, of Forex systems will fit inside these. In fact, I still only trade inside these different time frames. I do know some traders who trade in the two hour, but that's kind of rare and, and far between. And you'll find that the one hour will still pick up the same trades as the two hour. If you find that you don't have the right button that you need in the toolbars up top, you can still right click on any of these different places and go to customize. And it will bring up your customizing toolbar. So you can remove things that you don't use or add things that you do use. So if you wanted to tidy it up and let's say you don't use meta editor at all, you can go and remove meta editor. Um, I'll put mine back just so it's more default. But things like this draw rectangle that is not here by default, I've added it in. It is under this section here. So you need to right click anywhere, go to customize, and you'll find all of these objects that you can add. And you find rectangle, which will be around here. And you just click insert and it'll be added. Since most brokers are still using MetaTrader 4, I'm going to continue all of the training using the MetaTrader 4 platform on this very account that we're using. If you are using MetaTrader 5 with a different broker, everything will be very, very similar. You should be able to follow along just fine. If there are any specific questions, if there are any issues that come up, please post on the forum or on the notice board or ask through the online portal, and I'll make sure to respond and help you out.